Hey everyone, I just wanted to come back with another advanced video for, it's going to be geared towards a more kind of advanced keyword strategy, just keyword scraping. I'm, I'm seeing a big disconnect lately with a lot of people's PPC campaigns where they're not constantly looking to expand their keywords, which is something that's very important. Before I get into it, I just want to say that again, I really appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting. And I've been reached out to by a lot of smaller sellers wanting to, to learn. And I just want to let you guys know that I am working on something. I don't necessarily want to call it a course, but it's going to be maybe a, a full video audit of me completely walking through an untouched PPC account, looking for wasted ad spend, analyzing budgets, ads, keywords, SEO, all of that stuff kind of from start to finish so that you guys can buy that and really use it as a tool. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be a PowerPoint presentation on this is what you do. No, it's gonna be again a much more in-depth analysis of looking for very specific things in search term reports, in campaign manager. And I hope you guys appreciate that that for all these videos I am walking through real life examples for you. So I was on Amazon, I came across this really cool product that kind of fell into the category of something I've been seeing lately. And like I mentioned, it's people struggling to find keywords. So all of you guys who sell out there, you know you have that one guy in your category who is dominating. They're the best seller, maybe they have brand recognition, they're just, they just kill everybody else in the category. So we're gonna say this is the best seller and we're gonna pretend like we're selling this product, okay? So obviously these guys copied this listing, they're doing okay. You know, they got good reviews. They're they're maybe the third or fourth in this category, but they're seriously lacking in keywords, at least from what I found from a distance. So we're gonna pre pretend that this is our product and we're going after this best seller to find more keywords. So all I did here is again, going back to Helium 10, I did two reverse ASINs. One quick thing that I wanna say with reverse ASINs is you can exclude branded searches. So this one didn't have many branded searches, the Active Life bestseller. But you can see here that they have 7,600 keywords. If I, let's see if I exclude their brand name, it went down to 7,615. So I took out 13 branded searches. And I think with more categories, you're gonna see more branded searches come out. It's just easier to kind of keep them separate. So that's a, that's a cool tool. Now, like I said, all I did was I came in here and I did reverse ASIN. So this is the active life. This is all of their data. I took out a couple columns. This is, I think, new in their export where it gives you a sponsored rank column. Now, I can't stress this enough. With everything on Amazon, don't trust it. So this is telling you that sponsored rank, that they don't have a sponsored rank for the keyword LED bike. When I search an LED bike, they have the very first sponsored product. So it's interesting, you know, there is a variation that's in play. This is a different color. We're, we looked at the blue one. I don't know, but that's what I'm saying with all of this data, always do a little bit of manual research with it. So this is Active Life, all of their keywords. This is our product, all of our keywords. What we wanna do is we wanna find keywords that they're ranking on that we are doing poorly on. So it's easy to just come in here, look at all of their keywords, you know, take the top 50 and bid on them in exact match. That's what most people do with reverse ASINs. But I think you can take it one step further. So like I said, I wanna, I wanna see where, the, where we rank on these keywords, okay? So it's just another simple Excel formula, it's VLOOKUP. If you're not familiar with it, I'm gonna run through a quick example but just look it up, it's a, it's a pretty simple one. So I want to look up, actually I wanna do it on their sheet, okay? So this is the best seller. So I wanna look up this keyword, then you do comma, and I wanna look it up for our keywords, for, all, for our data. So I need to look it up from here, but I wanna see where we rank for it. So after that, after you select your, your column, you do comma, and then what column do you want to spit out? So I want column six because I want to see where our organic rank is. And then you always do false. So like I said, look it up. That was a quick run through. But what this is telling me, if I copy and paste this down, that we are ranking 23rd 
for the keyword LED bike. They're first. We're ranking 13th for bike tire lights. They're first. We're 177th for boys bicycle accessories. That's an extremely relevant keyword. Now, going back to what I said, we might not be 177th. We might be ranked a little better. That's where Helium 10's data is. It, it's not always correct, but it gives you a good idea. So what I would do with this is I'm trying to look for another example here. Okay, so these two, we're sixth and seventh. They're both second. So for these keywords, when you're sixth and seventh, you might not want to put a whole lot of PPC into it, right? Because you're, you're right at the top of page one. If you, if you put a PPC ad, you might start to overlap your organic ranking. But these ones, like 20th, 19th, 22nd, I would call those tier one. Tier one keywords that my top competitor is ranked for and I'm really not doing too well for because that's right on the bottom of page one, page two. So we know we're relevant for them and we really want to up our game for them. This one, 173rd, maybe for some reason we've gotten some traction on this keyword, but we don't convert well. So I would call this tier two where I put maybe a medium bid, start to research it, okay? And when I'm saying all of these, I would do these in exact match, okay? You know you're being very aggressive right now with these targets. So this is exact match only. So these ones, tier one, these ones, maybe after it's like rank of 50, I would call it tier two. And then tier three would be maybe ones that we are ranking for. I probably have some PPC set up for, but I just want to, I just want to know that they're there. So maybe they're anything that's, that's second to 15th of rank. So this is, and that's where I would set up three new campaigns, tier one, tier two, tier three all different keyword bids, all, and I know that I'm only targeting keywords that my competitor is ranking for. So it's not some other software tool where I found some random keywords. No, I'm going directly after my competitor. And all of these are going to be extremely relevant. So still go through these manually, see if maybe some of these ones that you know you aren't going to rank for, just, just take them out. But I think this is still, this is the biggest thing where you say your PPC is stalling. It's because there's constantly new keywords coming in. So do this with your competitors, see how they're doing, push it to the next level, especially with the holidays coming up. There's a bunch of gift keywords and age specific keywords that are starting to pop up. So it's a really good time to do this. All right, guys, I hope this helps. I hope this lets you find some new keywords. And like I said, stay tuned for kind of that full video audit course that I'm going to be hopefully getting out soon.